What's up everyone, it's Justin from Long Beach Mushrooms and I wanted to do something that some of y'all requested today and it is to review uh, my autoclave back here. Uh, I was waiting on some parts and I wanted to make sure that it worked 100% properly before I did this review. And I also wanted to run it a few cycles um, just to make sure I got a feel for it. So what I have is a 150 liter autoclave. Uh, I got this from Enrique over at Desert Moon Mushrooms. Uh, they're the homie and you know, I trusted him. So we went, you know, I went with him on this product and I kind of just want to show you what it can do. Um, so far, I'm gonna get a chair. So far it's been great. Um, it lets me do, we do 24 and a half pound grain bags um, at a time. A cook cycle, you know, I do a two and a half hour cook cycle, but you can do a little bit less and probably get away with it, but I do two and a half hour cook cycle. It takes maybe 30 minutes to get up to temperature. Um, and when I'll just jump into it, I'll show you some of the features and then I'll tell you what I think about it. So uh, the great thing about it is number one, it has this control panel. The function on it is already preset. So I, you know, I set it for two and a half hours uh, 15 PSI and I just it just stays there unless I wanted to change it so all I'd have to do is press of a button and the settings turn on and it kicks on once it gets to temp then uh, the timer kicks on so however long it takes to get up to my 15 PSI then the temp then the, the timer will kick on and then it'll count down from there um, there's also, uh, you know, there's a there's a couple of gauges here, so you can kind of check on uh, to you can kind of calibrate if if one gauge is off, you have a backup to check on it. Um, just some basic functions on there. There is a drain valve down here. Really easy to use. Just turn it one way and you're good. Um, it is does run on 240. So I have my 240 uh, volt plug there. It comes with the it comes with the line, but not the plug. So I had to install that. Um, there is this pipe or uh, tube. It's for the uh, one of the valves. Um, so sometimes it kicks on and it'll blow steam out. Here is my safety valve. It's set at 15 psi. Uh, so that is you know that uh, protects the machine from going over uh getting over pressurized um and it's a great safety feature to have because you know you can kind of set it and forget it i'm going to lift you guys up and we'll show you the inside of it okay so it has it's got these uh i don't know what you call it these tie downs these twist downs that are really convenient and easy to use. You just un undo them just like an all American autoclave. It's the same thing on top, except maybe I would argue easier to use. Oh, this machine's also on wheels, which is really nice. Uh, you can roll it in and out of your lab. Honestly, I don't worry about that too much. If you guys haven't caught how I do things, I don't do everything to, I don't know how you're supposed to, I guess. But lift it up, it comes with this anti-scald um, lid, which is really convenient because sometimes if you lift this thing while it's hot, steam's gonna blow up, but it'll stay out of your face because of this. And then I have it full of grain right now that I just ran, but inside, as you can see, you know, there's two baskets. Probably lift it up. It's a little heavy, but I'll lift one up for you. So it comes with two baskets. Oh, that's all filled with grain. Just move them onto the rack. Sometimes I roll it into my lab, but most of the time I just, I don't. So in those two baskets, I can fit 20, 24 and a half pound bags of grain. Um, I guess something that I could do is purchase more baskets if I really wanted to and just run this thing multiple runs throughout the day, just 
take your hot bags out of, <clears throat> out of it, take the basket into the lab and then do another run. We don't really need to do that. You know, 40, we do 40 uh, green bags a week and that's plenty for our production. Um, inside, as you can see, there's a heating element, um, gauges, and then this is a cool float valve safety device. Um, I've already learned. So on the front panel, there is two settings for water. It says either high or low. And uh, what happens is it needs to be at high in order for it to run. If it drops to low at all, your run will cut off, it'll stop. And then I believe it gave me an error code when that happened. So that's really nice. First of all, it doesn't use a ton of water anyways. I probably go an inch above the float valve that's in here. I can do, if I really wanted to, I can do two runs with that level of water. We're filling it up once. And then after that, if I try to do a third, it'll cut off. But if I can do two runs there and then filling it up is really easy. You know, I, I know probably should use RO water or something cleaner, but I just use tap and then I drain it after every use. Sometimes I'll even like, if you can see here, there's a lot of sediment in there. So I'll drain it and then I'll take a hose and kind of like uh, clean it down. Um, yeah, just trying to maintain the machine, but that's kind of it. It's a pretty basic machine. It's essentially a giant autoclave, a giant all-American autoclave. Um, yeah, I think that's it. It's a giant auto, auto, all-American autoclave. Same kind of like heating element style. Uh, the thing that I really love about it though is the timer. So why don't we go into that? Let's go into, let's go into pros and cons. Okay, I'll start with the cons because there aren't as many of those, but there are some. So cons for it. Um, number one, I have had bags burst from there. I think that is a little bit of user error. I can, I can calibrate that or, or, uh, um, or I can pack my bags in a certain way. I already got some recommendations from Enrique to pack it a certain way and then that'll limit my the amount of bags that I have burst. Um, another con would be, it doesn't feel like the pressure gauge is 100% accurate on this thing or pressure slash temperature gauge because I've done runs where, you know, I swear it's at 250 and then I open it up and everything is overcooked. And then I done like a second run on the same setting and things are fine. Uh, so I don't know. I, I'm not exactly sure that that's probably, that could be user error too. Um, but that's a con. Um, the baskets are heavy. So like leaning in there and loading it uh, can be difficult at times. And, um, you know, typically what we do is unload them one bag at a time. We don't lift the whole basket out. But if I really wanted to like maximize efficiency, I would probably need to lift the whole basket out, uh, both the baskets out to put in more baskets. Um, another con is not, has nothing to do with the machine, but there is a long lead time on it. So I ordered this quite a while ago and it took, I believe, let me see. I don't even remember how long it took because I ordered it and it took so long that I kind of forgot about when it was going to get here. I, if I were to go back and kind of guess, I would say maybe like three to six months for it to get to me. Um, I could probably be more accurate with that. If, if I could find my notes, I will put it in the description link because uh, yeah, I just want to be accurate with that. Um, but those are pretty much the cons. And, and I'm reaching here because in all honesty, there are not a lot of cons. There are a ton of pros, especially jumping up from an all American system to this. Um, so pros, my favorite thing about it is I can set it and forget it. With my all American pressure cookers, I was always worried about, like I was always sitting there, uh, you know, there's no timer on the ones that I use. I had them on CAD Cope uh, hot plates. So I was always tweaking the dial because sometimes it would go too high. Sometimes it would go too low. Um, and I, you know, just kept tweaking that dial to get, get it in like the perfect kind of temperature uh, uh, zone. Um, this one, I don't have to do that. I have a, a digital set and I just punch it and it stays there. Super easy. Um, the timer countdown is one of the, my favorite things. I, I'm still a little, like I, I, I make sure that the timer is going like it has started before I would forget it. So 
Like if it takes 30 minutes to heat up, I'm monitoring monitoring it for those 30 minutes until it gets to its zone where it's okay, it's it's reached the temperature I want it to and the timer kicks on. But once the once the timer kicks on, I don't even pay attention to it anymore. And I just let it let it do its thing. And that's for me the biggest pro because that's the biggest pro because now I can spend my time doing other things that the business needs me to do uh, and you know, bring more value into it. So the first pro, the biggest pro is uh, the ability to get that timer on and then kind of set it and forget it. The second pro is its capacity for, for, the, for the price. So I can do 20 bags of four and a half pound grain bags a day or a run I could do multiple runs if I needed to, but I really don't. I only use 26 grain, uh, five pound or four and a half pound grain bags a week in our in our production line, but I make 40 because I can, because it's easy. So I only need two runs a week to fulfill my capacity uh, or what I need. And that's huge because with the all American pressure cookers, I had three of them and I was running them every day pretty much and because they were so inconsistent with the cooks like if i i don't know i would forget about it or things can go wrong more things can go wrong because it's not set it and forget it a lot of times i would lose bags running my all americans um because i failed i did something wrong on a cook but with this i can do in two days i can do 40 bags um my grain uh my grain schedule is tight now like i could make I can schedule out the exact bags of grain I want to make, make them all on the same day. And it's easy enough where I can train somebody else to take that over. Whereas with the All-Americans, I was, you know, soaking grain, cooking grain, inoculating grain every day. And if we, I don't know, somebody called out on a Thursday, let's say, then we're behind already and things are going, you know, now we're playing catch up and then maybe Thursday inoculation day was lion's mane. And now next week we don't have any lion's mane grain because that day somebody called out and we didn't have the proper backup backup plans for like it was just a mess but now it's way more streamlined because i can make 40 bags early in the week we can inoculate it and uh, exactly with what we want and it gives us room for error so i mean a uh, room to play if something goes wrong so if on a monday somebody calls out and this didn't get done no problem we do it on wednesday we have we have extra days in the week now where we can make up for it that's huge, its capacity is huge for the price point. Um, you know, what else? I mean, it's easy to use, there's not a lot of mechanics involved, kind of just press a button. Um, it's on wheels, it's plug, it's like plug and play, like I received it off the, uh, off the pallet. Um, when, I, when it got delivered to me, I received it, I got it off the pallet and it was pretty much ready to use except for getting that, uh, that plug uh, dialed in. So I just had to buy a plug, wired it up, had my electrician come out and wire me a new 240 volt uh, plug uh, outlet and it was ready to use. Um, I like that, I even like that the low mechanics on it as far as like there's no, like there's no um, water line. I actually like that because I've had too many times where we've had water lines attached to float valves, float valves fail and then we've had a flood and that's actually one of my like biggest fears and I hate like worrying about that. So I love that this is a self-contained machine. There are no, there's no water line connected to it. There's just that simple safety float valve in there. Um, and I just know, I know if I fill it, if I fill it up with enough water, um, it'll run for as long as I need it to run. And then it has that safety, uh, that safety option where if the water gets too low, then it shuts off and it doesn't run. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want less mechanics and uh, and it's safe and less things to go wrong. Um, I think that's kind of it. Like those are, there's the pros are simple, but they're huge because it allows us to do so much more streamline so much. Um, the price point was very fair. Uh, you know, Enrique is awesome from Desert Moon. Like he's, he's the homie. He's, you know, he's been in communication with me this whole time on how to set it up, how to run it best. Any questions I have, I reach out and he's answered them. Um, really the only con that I can really, really say that is a real con is maybe the lead time. Um, because if it's, you know, if you want it right away, you're not gonna get it right away. Not at least if you order it from Enrique. Um, but, you know, that's probably it. 
So if you are in a space where you can kind of order it and you don't need it right away, then I think this is the machine for you. Um, I'm really glad that I got it. No, no complaints, no nothing about it. Like it's, it's leveled up our, our production for sure. And like I said, Enrique has been dope. So, you know, I have no, I'm not worried at all if something goes wrong that I can't call on him and we can try to figure it out together. No problems. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of the review, the 150 liter autoclave. It is a great machine. It's also very compact. My building's not huge. So it fits in our space. It has wheels, it rolls around, it does its job. You can set it and forget it. Um, yeah. So I don't know, anyways, if anyone's interested in it, uh, make sure you email uh, Enrique over at Desert Moon Farms. Uh, he can get you set up or at least he can start that conversation. But yeah, that's the review of the 150 liter autoclave. Peace out.